I believe IonQ has the potential to be the number one quantum computing stock in the world. And in this video, I urge you to sit back, relax, and let me explain my reasoning for why I believe this large claim. You see, quantum computing is a disruptive technology that has the potential to revolutionize many aspects of modern life. The technology promises to deliver computing power that is exponentially greater than what is currently available, opening up new frontiers in fields such as cryptography, material science, and drug discovery. And INQ, a quantum computing startup, is well positioned to be a leader in this field, making it a great investment opportunity for those looking to capitalize on the potential of this groundbreaking technology and getting in early. So INQ was founded in 2015 by Chris Monroe and Jun Sang Kim, who are both renowned scientists in the field of quantum computing. And the company is based in College Park, Maryland, and has raised over $225 million in funding from a variety of different sources, including a venture capital firm named Lux Capital. And INQ has developed a unique approach to quantum computing that relies on ion traps, a technology that has been proven to be highly effective in the lab. And the company's technology has already demonstrated some really impressive results, including running complex algorithms on its quantum computer and achieving a record-breaking 99.99% gate fidelity. And one of the key advantages of IonQ's approach to quantum computing is its scalability. The company's ion trap technology has been shown to be highly scalable, which means that it can be used to build larger and more powerful quantum computers. And this is in contrast to some of the other approaches to quantum computing, such as superconducting qubits, which has struggled with scalability. And INQ's scalability is a major advantage because it means that the company's technology can be used to solve more complex problems as quantum computers become more and more powerful. And another advantage of INQ's technology is its extremely low air rate. Quantum computers are highly sensitive to errors, which can significantly reduce the accuracy of their calculations. However, INQ's ion trap technology has been shown to have a very low error rate, which is a significant advantage in the field of quantum computing. This low error rate makes INQ's technology particularly well suited for solving complex optimization problems and for running quantum simulations of chemical and biological systems. INQ has also demonstrated a strong commitment to innovation. The company has invested heavily in research and development and has developed a number of patented technologies that give it a competitive advantage in the quantum computing market. One example of this innovation is INQ's development of the technology called Virtual Gates, which allows the company to run complex quantum algorithms on its computer without the need for physical gates. This innovation has the potential to significantly speed up development of quantum algorithms, making INQ's technology extremely powerful. Another example of INQ's commitment to innovation is also its partnership with Cambridge Quantum Computing, also known as CQC, which is a leading quantum software company. The partnership aims to develop new algorithms and software tools that will make it easier for users to run calculations on INQ's quantum computers. And this collaboration is a significant advantage for INQ because it means that the company can leverage CQC's expertise in quantum software to make its technology even more accessible and user-friendly. And INQ's technology has already attracted a number of high-profile customers, including Goldman Sachs, which has signed a multi-year agreement to use INQ's quantum computers for financial modeling and risk analysis. Other customers include the U.S. Department of Energy, which even awarded INQ a $5 million contract to develop quantum computing software for scientific simulations. And another partner is UK's National Physical Laboratory, which has partnered with INQ to build a quantum computing testbed. So just to reiterate, at the heart of INQ's technology is a unique approach to quantum computing that relies on ion traps, which as you can see has shown to be extremely effective in the lab. And in contrast to other approaches to quantum computing, such as superconducting qubits, which has struggled with scalability, INQ's ion trap technology is highly scalable, which means that over time, I don't think this company is going to have any issue with growing larger and more powerful quantum computers. 
And if we look at INQ's financial performance, in addition to its strong technology, competitive advantages, and partnerships, INQ has also shown a strong financial performance in recent years. Just look at these recently released 2022 results. I'm not going to go over every single one, but I'll put them up on the screen and kind of highlight the ones that I think are the most important. INQ beat the high end of full year 2022 revenue guidance with over $11 million in revenue. INQ recognized revenue of $3.8 million for the fourth quarter compared to only $1.6 million in the prior year period. INQ achieved bookings of $24.5 million for the full year of 2022 and their net loss was $18.6 million in the fourth quarter. And when you compare this to the $74.1 million in the year prior, I think this is a pretty significant difference. And furthermore, their net loss was $48.5 million for the full year in 2022 versus $106.2 million in 2021. So I think these are some really significant improvements that INQ has seen over the last year. And hopefully this gave you guys some good insight into this company and why I'm personally invested in them. And with that, I think I'd like to wrap up the video here. Thanks as always, and I'll catch you next time.